Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today in this video, I want to go ahead and kind of show you guys a really insane leveling setup. Now, I know my character's gear right now is actually worth quite a bit when I go over it. Uh, but you'll see that it is very, very, very overkill and you don't need anything near the spectrum of gear to actually pull off a character like this. So this is just a level 56 uh, Freeze Pulsar that I'm currently leveling. Uh, I went CI at level, I guess, 53, I think is typically when I go CI when I use Skin of the Loyal. And uh, it's going to be my Crit Incinerator, but like I said, I was leveling as Crit Freeze Pulse because, you know, Incinerate... Well, first off, I'm going Double Totem, so I kind of need Ancestral Bond, so that's kind of... I guess the, the main thing holding me back at the moment. But yeah, I actually hit crit cap on my freeze pulse, so I'm 95% chance to crit at level 56. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a dried lake run <laughs> in cruel difficulty to show you what it feels like to be overpowered when you're leveling. So if you want to see the crit chance, you can see it right there. And we're actually sitting on 50k Freeze Pulse DPS at level 56. Where's Mr. Vol at? Mr. Vol! Where you at, buddy? Oh, Mr. Bull! He's running, boys. He doesn't want to pop out and play. I feel like I'm mapping already on this character. <laughs> it feels so good, dude. Rip Mr. Vol. So yeah, just to give you guys a little bit of a, a setup on how this works, it's kind of like a, a little thing I've been doing of recently, where I've been transitioning majority of my builds to CI at level 53, and the reason for level 53 is Skin of the Loyal can be used pretty much at whatever level you want. It's like a Tabula Rasa, but it gives the additional 100% increased global defenses, which will scale Discipline. Um, Ascent from Flesh is a belt for level 44, so Ascent from Flesh you would also wear. Rainbow Strides are for low level that give all maximum res and 120 ES. Martyr's Crown gives 355 ES. Void Bringers give 200, and then you get your Eye of Chayula for stun immunity and a decent shield, and you're pretty much good to go. So, pretty much the way this setup works is Freeze Pulse was buffed. I don't remember exactly when they buffed it, but they did something to buff it. But the, the huge thing is that it gets GMP for two jewel slots now. So you basically use two first snows. You can use a first snow here. You can put one here. You can actually even put it in the scion area uh, right here because you get 10 intel plus 20 intel and then 5 intel and 5 intel. And first snow just gives you such a huge, uh, I guess, like hit area compared to... Um, just compared to normally what it would be. And the really cool thing is projectile based builds seem to get scaling a lot quicker and they're just a lot better from my personal experience now with like the huge hit to AOE changes. Um, so that's pretty cool as well. But Freeze Pulse is just kind of under like this, this crazy thing right now where it's OP. So another really good interaction with Freeze Pulse is actually, and you can use this with anything, but it's the Tullborn Spiraled Wand. Uh, Tullborn is really good because it gives you a 50% chance to generate a power charge on killing a frozen enemy, and then you get flat cold damage to spells per power charge, and then it even gives you its own mana sustain, which is awesome. Now, the Freeze Pulse links I'm about to show you are not really links that you should use necessarily. These are the, the links I'm going to use for my Incinerate, so I decided to work with what I had. So, I've got Freeze Pulse, oh sorry, these are the colors, not the gems, but Freeze Pulse, Increase Crit, uh, Empower, which is level 3, which is actually level 4, uh, Faster Casting, Faster Projectiles, and Cold to Fire. Although I am really liking the Cold to Fire interaction because you basically crit something, it's frozen, and then the Ignite kind of chips it away, but I think Control Destruction would just be significantly better. Now, the other thing that I'm doing is I actually have Perfect All Resist, 
meaning everything on my gear is just all resistance. So Lahoop gives all res, Rainbow Strides give all res, I sent from Flesh gives all res, um, I've got a Prismatic Eclipse that gives only all res, and then of course you have like nullification for all res, which means that when I hit my Wise Oak, I'm actually, I believe, is that mitigating and, um, I don't know if it actually mitigates it, I'm pretty sure it does, it mitigates and you gain the penetration for each one, and since I'm cold to fire, it works for my fire and my cold, so a little bit overkill there as well, but uh, hey, sometimes you want to feel OP, right? So that's been a lot of fun, and um, yeah, this has been the Crit Incinerate character as of right now, I'll keep you guys updated on what's going on. Um, the transition is going to be pretty soon. I just come through here basically. I need to grab Shamanistic Fury, come over here, grab Shaman's Dominion, uh, move across here, and then grab Ancestral Bond and this Power Charge, and then Faith and Steel, and we're good to go. So probably like 20 levels, so uh, I'm hoping maybe less than 20 levels, probably by like 75. The other thing is we do have a Prod Speed Helmet that we crafted here as well. So, or here. Yes. So we're waiting on this one as well. Anyway, just wanted to keep you guys updated kind of with what's going on. Um, remember as well that you don't have to be an assassin to do this setup either. Assassin just works out really well because of how insane like Deadly Infusion is. Which Deadly Infusion basically gives you base critical strike chance per power charge. So Assassin would be used, or I should I would say would be necessary to cap your crit chance. But you don't really need to do that either for leveling. You can just use a Diamond Flask because Diamond Flasks basically roll your crit chance twice. Uh, which is, I mean, it's pretty insane as well. Anyway, I just wanted to keep you guys updated with a little short video clip. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, and as always, if you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash box. Hope you guys have a wonderful time, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow.